www.celebrityedge.com. And right now we are on board Celebrity Edge, the very first cruise ship to return to service out of the United States. We've actually been on board for the better part of a week. Uh, we're staying on next week as well, so make sure you guys stay tuned for lots of coverage all about the return to cruising, especially right here on board Celebrity Edge. Right now, behind us is Nassau, Bahamas, and uh, we're one of the first cruise ships back to Nassau, Bahamas. There are some ships actually sailing out of this port as well. Uh, right now, Christmas Serenity, they're just uh, docked there, no passengers and uh, Rhapsody of the Seas on the other side of us, but we're the only ship in port right now with guests on board. I wanted to tell you a couple things that I learned about my day here in Nassau. I thought it was really important things that I went, oh, I wish I would have known that, right? Um, so one, I will tell you that at least on board Celebrity Edge, this can vary ship by ship, line by line, we're able to disembark in Nassau without uh, any sort of restrictions from the cruise line. They said, no, you're welcome to get off, and uh, do your thing, enjoy Nassau here. If you want to take an excursion from Celebrity, fantastic. If you want to get in a cab, do your own thing, or walk around, take a third party excursion, you can do that as well. Of course, you do need to make sure you're following local protocols. So you've got to be wearing a mask unless you're, uh, you're, you're eating or drinking, uh, you know, or farther away from everyone else. Um, and they are, they are practicing distancing, uh, even like places like banks and such, they're only letting so many people in at a time. Uh, but it's, it's still a very comfortable situation. One thing you should know, however, is if there's a place you always like to go in the Bahamas and here in Nassau, uh, maybe call and see if they're open. Because since things are just coming back, at least to the port area here, some things like over by Paradise Island, slightly different situation. But over here uh, in the, by the port area here in Nassau, a lot of things have not reopened yet. The big port building was actually demolished. That has nothing to do with COVID. They were rebuilding that anyway to make a better experience for, for cruisers visiting. But then uh, out on uh, Bay Street and the other areas around here, some things still aren't open, like Senor Frogs. Like, I, I don't go there, but that was a real indicator to me when I saw that, that was not open. I went, wow, okay, they're still working on things. Uh, that's it. A lot of other places are open. Plenty of places. There are, there are plenty of places to, to, to get uh, food or drink or, or go shopping, and, uh, and they are happy to see everyone back. I went ashore for a little while. I uh, had some conch fritters, uh, salad, soup, uh, all sorts of things. And, uh, and enjoyed um, not only my meal and uh, Kalik local beer, but also helping to contribute in a small way to the local economy. And I would encourage everyone else to do the same. It's not very crowded out there right now, so that's a nice option too. You're not gonna feel overwhelmed, even though some things are indeed closed down. Uh, now, what you should know is while you're able to tour on your own and places are open, if you want to eat inside of a restaurant here in the Bahamas, it is the law that you must show them proof that you are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 in order to enter the restaurant. If you want to sit outside and eat, no problem. A lot of places already had alfresco dining. Those places that don't, that didn't already have alfresco dining, they, um, they have adapted and now do. But uh, you know, we're, we're, in, we're in the Caribbean here. Uh, I, I live in the Caribbean and it gets hot. So uh, if you want to eat inside, plenty of places have inside seating available, but you must show proof of vaccine. It doesn't have to be your original card or anything like that. They'll be perfectly glad to accept a picture where everything's perfectly legible, your name is on there, and then you have some sort of ID showing that, yes, that's you. But make sure you do that. So what I would recommend if you're from the U.S., take a picture of your CDC card, uh, both sides of it if needed, or all parts of it, and, um, and then just have that on your phone to show them when you go short, if you want to dine inside anywhere. Uh, if you're not from the U.S., and whatever the applicable proof of vaccine is, but other than inside dining, you don't have you know, any major restrictions um, if, uh, if you don't have proof of vaccine. Because I didn't bring proof with me. I had the picture on there somewhere, but it was fine. We we're happy to sit outside anyway. It was, it was not raining when, uh, when I was ashore like it is now. So, uh, you know, see if, don't, don't count on a certain business being open. While things are reopening quickly, there are a lot of folks out there painting and you know, putting new furniture out. You can tell that a lot of things in the next couple days even are going to be reopening here in Nassau. Just know that some things might not be so check. Uh, if you, you know, it, it may be safest in that way to take a shore excursion if there's some specific thing you want to do, because at least you know that'll be open. If you want to roam on your own, though, make sure you bring that proof of vaccine so that you can dine inside, which you might want to do uh, when it's 92 degrees. Uh, that's about it for Nassau. Restrictions vary by port and by, uh, by, the, um, uh, by the cruise line and things like that as well.
So stay tuned. We're going to keep you guys updated. Next week, we're going to be Eastern itinerary, though we'll be back in Nassau in two days before we head to St. Thomas and St. Martin. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing lots more over on cruisehabit.com, uh, on our Instagram account, on Twitter, and we just went live on Facebook. So like us there, and you can catch lots more content in all of those places. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out on social media. Just search Cruise Habit. Uh, happy to answer your cruise questions. It doesn't have to be about Celebrity Edge, Celebrity in general. It can be just cruise questions. We're happy to answer questions. We love talking ship with all of you. And of course, make sure you click like and subscribe uh, here on this video and subscribe to our, our YouTube channel for lots more. We're going to have so much more content in the next week, especially because this past week there were a lot of media events, so we learned so much. But we want to share more with you and answer your questions. That's going to be it for now. I'm going to go get my COVID test since uh, the show, since this cruise technically ends tomorrow, even though I'm staying on board. Consecutive cruisers need a COVID test. So I'm going to go do that. And uh, we'll be back live a little bit later. So look forward to answering your questions and talking ship with you again real soon.